Hi guys, Chris again. On this video, what we're looking at is how to tell the difference between older AMD processors and newer Ryzen. So what I'm holding in my hand is an AMD, I believe it said this one was an FX 6300. It's kind of hard to make it so you can see. But, um, and then this is a Ryzen 5. 1600. Now, the thing with these is that if you're actually holding both of them, um, the Ryzen chip clearly says Ryzen on it. But if, if you're not actually, if you can't actually see the labeling on it. Now, I have actually seen, I believe, some people on YouTube where they've done videos where people have even like reprinted them or something or they've pulled the thing off and put it back on. In that case, the only way to tell would be to actually either, well, if you tried to plug this in, so with the Ryzen chips, there's a different pin pattern on them, so you can see those. those. Um, and then on the older FX chips, there's a, yet again a different pattern. Now, like I said, you gotta actually look close. So assuming you're not being scammed in any way, oops, you wanna at least make sure that it says Ryzen on it. Because the thing is, <clears throat> and again, this is these are not videos for those of you who know what you're looking at with this, okay? Because I know someone's gonna say, oh, I know that already. Of course you do. This isn't for you. Um, this is for people that don't know. If you don't look, I mean, you're just glancing, right? I mean, bunch of pins, bunch of pins. They're the exact same size. They've even both got the little triangle in the corner to point where the, the, the direction of the pins. So just be aware that they are almost identical. Um, assuming somebody hasn't put a lot of effort into it, it's pretty easy to tell the one that says Ryzen. Um, but again, just be aware there, there are such close similarities. You do want to at least vaguely look, at least make sure that, at least do your basic due diligence. Make sure, like I said, that it at least says it's the Ryzen chip. Uh, these FX chips are basically worthless. Don't, uh, do not pay money for one of these. I'll do another video on that. Don't pay money for one of these though, only buy the Ryzen chips. Anyway, I hope you guys find this to be an informative video. I hope this helps somebody make sure they get what they think they're getting. So thanks for watching.